guys welcome back okay so I wanted to just come on here and just chit chat a little bit about some new releases okay cuz I'm just kind of scrolling through trend mood as I do occasionally and just looking at some of this stuff I'm kind of happy that I'm on a low buy right now cuz it's not really much that I'm interested in but there are some things that you know I just want to kind of talk about with you guys so I'm just gonna scroll through trend mood while I sit here and chit chat about some of these new releases so, I don't know it seems like it's not that much happening right now which is kind of good for me okay so let's just go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with new releases right now okay so this first item that caught my attention here is says it's new Ulta Beauty Online, the Spicy Betch Pressed Pigment Palette by Tarte with eight shades in a mix of orange, yellow, and red tone, matte and metallic finishes for $24, and the Tarte Lip Party Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so a pocket palette that includes six warm neutral eyeshadows for $19. Hey, I mean, it's really pretty. The, the Spicy Bitch palette, that's pretty. Not something I will buy because it's just like basic shades to me. Red, orange, and yellow. Of course, I have those already. And the little pocket palette. I mean, it's cute or whatever, but yeah. No, definitely something I don't need. I don't know. Does anybody need that? <laughs> it's cute, though. But yeah, I'm going to have to pass on that. Okay, what is this? This is an eyeshadow organizer. It's the Book of Shades from Colored Rain. Holds up to 72 traditional magnetic pants. Okay, so now this is something that might be interesting to me because y'all know I just started a whole depotting situation where I'm over here just tearing up palettes. <laughs> but it's only palettes that I really know that I'm decluttering or that I'm not going to use. But I know that there's shadows in there that I want to use. So those are the palettes that I'm... Uh, you know depotting right now it's kind of fun tearing up palettes but anyways so it says here it holds up to 72 traditional magnetic pans that's the only thing that'll keep me from buying it is because when I depot my pans are all kind of sizes larger than that smaller than that square you know so yeah that wouldn't work for me forty two dollars forty two dollars hmm I don't know. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't get that. I've purchased the large XL magnetic palettes from Give Me Glow and Colored Rain and stuff, which I really like because I'm able to put any sh any shape of shadow in those, and they're really large. So yeah, I'm going to have to pass on that, but I think that's really good if those are the only size shadows that you buy. It can be handy for somebody, just not for me. Okay, next here, another new big eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. Is ColourPop turning into the new Morphe, you guys? Because um, they starting to come out with these large palettes ever since the Kathleen Lights palette that I just haven't been able to get into yet. Yeah, the So Jaded palette. Ever since the So Jaded palette, they've just been like, okay, we're going to do big palettes now. So anyways, this is the It's All Good palette. It has 30 shades, mattes, and shimmers for $34. I think, um, I mean, it, it's cute. Definitely not any colors that I need. I've purchased these colors at least 10 times this year already. <laughs> and probably from ColourPop. So, yeah, I don't need these colors. But, I mean, it's cute. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not interested. I think ColourPop making these larger palettes and increasing their prices, it seems like that might kind of slow down their sales some because people really go to ColourPop for like the nine pan, $12 palettes and really wait for them to go on sale so they can get them for nine bucks. So I don't know if people are really interested in spending $34 on a palette from ColourPop, but we'll see, I guess, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, what is this? This is colorful. It says Spotlight Vibrant Neon Colorful Eyeshadow Palette. This is from Bad Beauty Cosmetics. What? 
a brand that I haven't heard of. Hello. <laughs> this is the Paint Me Bad. Includes 30 matte waterproof shades designed to suit all skin tones and it's cruelty free. How much is this? Does it say? Am I overlooking it? I mean, it's pretty, but I have so many colorful eyeshadow palettes. I'm not really in the market for a new one, first of all, and definitely not from a brand that I've never heard of. Uh, what's the price on this? I don't know. Whatever the price is, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But, hmm. Y'all know I like trying new brands, but yeah, I'm just not in the market for a colorful eyeshadow palette. What is this? Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, those are cute. Now, I'm not really drawn to smaller eyeshadow palettes. I know Fenty just came out with a whole bunch of small eyeshadow palettes. Hopefully, I come across it so I can talk about it. But, yeah. These are new palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. Luxury palettes for $53 each. Uh, that right there will keep me from buying it. Okay. <laughs> you have the Rebel, which is a palette with glowing gold and khaki green shades. And the Glamour Muse, which has gray, silver, and violet. So those are pretty. I know Charlotte Tilbury is more expensive, and I actually plan on trying something from Charlotte Tilbury in the upcoming year because I really, really want to try brands that I've never tried before. And Charlotte Tilbury is one of them. And I'm assuming that her shadows are really nice. It's just hard for me with small palettes. I'm just not drawn to small palettes. And I say that knowing that I just, I have a stack of small palettes to talk about in the upcoming haul. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a mess. Don't even trip. Okay, so what do we have here? Fenty Beauty. Okay, so these are the small eyeshadow palettes that I was talking about that everybody is talking about. I mean... Them swatches kind of have me like, hmm. But every single one of these palettes, I have these shadows. And now that I've started, you know, fooling with single shadows, I definitely can dupe all of these palettes. I mean, these shades are so familiar. So it's eight different palettes. <laughs> Each one includes six shades for $25. You can get two for $45. Okay. Um, and here's the cool part. You can stack them in pairs and it's per and it's the perfect size for on the go. That's the benefit of small palettes is they are perfect for travel, on the go, taking them to work, easy storage. So yeah, that is the benefit of small palettes. I just, I don't like them. I don't like them. So yeah, I don't, I don't fool with them. Really cute though. Okay, so ColourPop, it looks like they have a new glow collection out you can use the code trend move for 10 percent off the glow collection by ColourPop. you get or should i say it includes pressed illuminator in champagne so that's a highlighter bubble for 12 bucks a liquid highlighter flat kabuki brush medium fluff brush glow face collection for 36 dollars oh you can get the whole collection for 36 bucks um Liquid Oh, so they always have these different little groupings. So you can get the Liquid Illuminate, Illuminator and the Flat Kabuki Brush for 18 bucks, Or you can get the Pressed Illuminator and the Fluff Brush for 18 bucks. I guess that's pretty cool because you can, you know, pick which highlighter you want in the brush that goes along with it and get like a little deal. So, yeah, because the... Pressed highlighters, twelve bucks. Liquid highlighters, twelve bucks. Each of the brushes is ten bucks, so that would be twenty-two bucks if you bought them separately, or eighteen if you buy them as a set. So, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's cute or whatever. ColourPop is just—I'm telling you—they are just non-stop. Oh, this is cute. Oh my goodness, what is this? Cheek Pop Highlighter by Clinique in Gold Celebration Pop. It's limited edition. Oh, how cute. Lunar New Year. Has a little mouse embossed in the highlighter. Okay, that's really cute. How much is this? It's available now in Asia and Canada. Hopefully, it'll be in the U.S. soon. Oh, oh that's disappointing. That's a really pretty highlighter, though. Hello. But yeah, like what? I need to know the price on that. Okay, that is beautiful. 
Okay, guess I'll have to wait and see. ColourPop also has some new, what is this, from 4th Ray, okay. Skincare by 4th Ray. Avocado Superfood Nourishing Mask for $16. Avocado Face Milk for $14. And, or you can get the set for $25. I haven't tried any of the skincare from 4th Ray. I have so much skincare that it's like I'm really not buying any now because I have a lot and I'm getting a lot in my um, subscription boxes. But eventually I do want to try something from 4th Ray. I haven't heard anybody like raving about it though. You, If you've tried it, let me know what you think um, about any of the products that they have. I just don't hear people raving about it. That's probably why I'm not pushed to like grab something. But yeah, I mean that looks like it would be nice. Morphe. Mm, mm, mm. New Year's Eve collection. It includes 10M, which is the Midnight Gleaming Artistry Palette for $22. Is that all glitter? 10 Shimmering Shades featuring Velvety Silk, Slip Toppers, and Glam Glitters. A lip gloss called Midnight Kiss for $8 and in Shimmering Champagne. And Premium Lashes Confetti, $14, full and fluttery with a pop of gold. Well, we know I ain't getting them, right? <laughs> so, hmm, I don't know. It's not, that palette is not intriguing to me. Nope. 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 I'll pass on all of that. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, Elf. Elf has something new. What's happening here? Elf. It's spotted at Target stores right now. Okay, that's good. Putty Primer Family. Oh, they done extended the Putty Primer line, okay? Matte Putty Primer, Universal Sheer for $8. Luminous Putty Primer, Universal Glow for $8. Now, I will try the matte one. Yeah, I will try the matte one. I was never one that felt like the e.l.f. Putty Primer was an exact dupe for the Tatcha. It just is not, <laughs> in my opinion. It might be close, but it's not the same. But, yeah, I um, would definitely try the matte one. You know, e.l.f. prices, you can't beat it. Eight bucks for a primer? Why not, right? Okay, so it looks like Estee Lauder has a new foundation. Has SPF 45. The Futurist Hydrating Rescue Moisturizing Foundation. A breathable full coverage and radiant finish powder powdered with Estee Lauder skincare to hydrate, soothe, and protect. $45 in 20 shades. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to try that. Coming soon to Sephora and Estee Lauder. They'll keep us updated. Yeah, that's not something that really interests me. I'm not really into, I mean, it has a breathable full coverage, so that sounds good, but a radiant finish. I mean, it says it has skincare to hydrate, soothe, and protect, so it has all good things in it. I don't know. I mean, I'm on a low buy. I'm not trying that. No, yeah, I'm not buying that. Mm -mm. But you guys might want to. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm on a low buy. I can't do it. Okay, I don't really see any more releases right now that I want to talk about, so just quickly, let me take a look at my email so I could check out and see what's going on at Ulta and Sephora if it's anything popping off right now. Okay, so on the Ulta website, hmm. Now see here, I have $10 off any qualifying purchase of $40 or more if you use the code LASTCALL19, okay. Now it looks like they have a lot of items that are 30 to 50% off, not too bad. 50% off Too Faced items. Kylie has buy one, get one free, which doesn't interest me at all. For benefit, all food size mascaras are two for $30, hello. And it looks like they have, yeah, it looks like, of course, they have a lot of things on sale. They had that new Morphe 39L Hit the Lights Artistry Palette on sale for half price, $21. Okay, I think I bought that, actually. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you, I don't even want to show y'all what I've been buying. I just have it sitting over here in the corner, like, are you going to do a video or no? Nah? I don't know. I might, I might not. 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff on sale. Yeah, so it looks like Ulta is having some good sales. Let's see what's happening at Sephora. So it looks like VIB and Rouge have early access 20% off right now. So if you're v or VIB or Rouge, check it out if you didn't know. But most people that are VIB and Rouge usually know what's happening because they constantly buying stuff. <laughs> That's how you get to be VIB and Rouge. Okay, so you already know what's on sale. Ooh, Sephora Collection Tools of the Trade brush set, $30. That's like less than half price. Hello. Um, NARS Free Lover Cheek Palette. Ooh, is that cream? That's $39. That's a nice sale. I don't really get into the cream blushes. Is that cream or is that powder? I haven't tried any NARS products, so this might be something for me to try. It's limited edition, free lover cheek palette, 39 bucks. Really cute. Hmm. The Fenty by Rihanna Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. It's on sale for $29 if you had your eye on that. The Natasha Denona Mini Lila Eyeshadow Palette has been on sale forever. It's still on sale, $12.50 <laughs> if you want to try that. I'm not trying it because everybody that I see trying it, they pants pop out. So yeah, no, I'm going to pass on that. Um, let's see. Origins. Five stars. Origins Mega Calmer Set. Mega Mushroom to Calm and Soothe limited edition that looks like something that i would like to try it has five stars three piece set that's great for sensitive skin or skin that is prone to redness serum moisturizer and treatment lotion yeah that's definitely something that i would be interested in it's on sale for 32 dollars they have the Too faced born this way undetectable medium to full coverage powder foundation on sale for 29 dollars and 50 cents yeah, I love that powder. I It's like I really, I've decided to stop buying backups. So that's the only reason why I'm not buying a backup of it. Because of the fact that I said I wasn't buying any more backups. But yeah, I love this stuff. It works really, really well for me. And, you know, it's something that I would definitely keep using. But by the time I use mine up, it'll be on sale again. So I'm not going to buy a backup. But yeah, I really like this uh, powder foundation. So anyways, you guys, I can sit here and talk about new releases and sales on makeup all day long. <laughs> but I just wanted to chit chat about a few of them, kind of see what's going on with the sales, just in case you're not out there checking and looking at everything all day and every day and just wanting an idea of what's going on out there in these makeup streets okay <laughs> so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me to talk about these new releases and sales that's going on and i will see you on my next video toodles